What I feel like their version of save and her version of save are two different di different things. Um, but yeah, welcome back. Uh, this is your boy Dion, and I am back today with yet another uh, Fate Grand Order Demonic Presence. Um, this one right here is going to be episode six. Last time on episode five, we had the fight between uh, Inkidu and Gilgamesh went all out. This was literally fucking two damn gods fighting. Like there's there's no no other possible way I could possibly ever describe this shit that was going on. It was just all over the damn place and so much good animation. Like I don't know who the hell was in the studio doing this shit, but they did amazing. Um, again, when it comes down to this um, this particular anime, I feel like they've gone with a much more simpler art style, but they haven't lagged in the animation department uh which is a good thing i'm still not completely on board with the art style but it's growing on me um but yeah i'm ready to go ahead and jump directly back into it hope you guys enjoy my reaction and let's go ahead and jump directly into the video ユミアと約品が不足しております。3割なら想定内。少子化者を順次交代させよう。補給品は俺が手配する。ありがたき幸せ。では、我らは今より戻ります。あわけ。異変した兵などあっせまといに近ならぬ。今日は休め。はい。
人がいるすみませんマジエ先生が現れた頃、ルークのミコたちはある人間の少女にイスタルシンを下ろす儀式をしたらしい。それがあのイスタか。少女の自我と女神の自我が溶け合い、新しい人格になったのだ。そもそもメソポタミアの神々は黄金の髪の毛をイメージしている。それが黒髪なのは少女のようだからだろうね。なるほど。なんとなく憎めないのはそのせいなのかな。そうかもしれません。あのイスタルが少しだけ人間らしいです。うん、珍しい。え人間は嫌いじゃなかったのかい人間も女神ももちろん、そうです。ハーリンはもっと嫌いです。<laughs> that is so amazing. So the demonic beasts are afraid to go anywhere near the city. Like a ghost ghost? Uh oh. The underworld. Them back off. How the hell did he even end up down there? Yo, how the fuck did he even end up down there? He just. Bitch again. God damn. 
The sun's going down. Got her ass. Ooh, right in the kisser. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I like, I like your aging like that. I don't know how to say thank you to you, that fucking bitch. Wow, bro. Oh, they had so much that went on. That was fucking ridiculous. So... This entire city, like, I don't understand. How the hell did he end up into the underworld in the first place? Like, how the hell did he end up down there? Was it a situation where the he just accidentally got teleported down there? Or did he walk through a gate that, he, I guess because he followed the, that specter and he ended up getting, transporting himself down there because he ended up going through like a a gate or something like that that he wasn't supposed to because all the motherfuckers was trying to trying to kill his ass Ugh. and but luckily of course he was saved um and here comes this so-called goddess fucking sundere like 
a Sundere goddess. That sounds fun. Cause um, she's like, oh, I, I'm not gonna say thank you or nothing like that. Oh my god, why don't you just say thank you? Like, just say thank you. Stop. Be be a, a good person. Just get it over with. Uh, but I actually enjoyed that episode. Um, it wasn't like too action pack or anything like that. But I love how he used himself as he was saying that he uh, feels weak and that he has to keep getting himself saved by people and everything like that. But he used himself as bait to go ahead and give Anna an opportunity to have an opening on her. Um, so that's good. He's he's practicing, get his gains up and everything like that, lifting. You know, I feel like he, Fujimaru is actually going to go very far. I'm waiting to see exactly, see his full development on everything. Because from what I'm seeing, he's, he understands his his place or he understands his strengths and weaknesses and he's not shying away from that which which is why i like his character and he's working to try to find other methods where he could still be beneficial to the team uh even without him being able to actually fight or contribute in a certain type of way but i'm pretty sure there's some type of way he could could uh still fight whether he could use some type of magic or anything like that or um, some type of way to go ahead and still be able to contribute on alongside Matt, uh, Mash, and Anna, and Merlin. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe down below for more videos just like this one. Make sure you like me, you love me, and you talk to me down below. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.